Welcome back guys. Today a few small updates and a couple of rehouses. Let's go. Right, today we've got a couple of rehouses of some small slings to do. We have our golden blue leg baboon, the Harpak Terapolka piece, and we also have a tiny little gifted UMV. So we're going to be rehousing that as well, plus a few updates. Let's go over there. We've got our uh, recently malted Harpak Tira Polka Peas, the golden blue leg baboon. And whilst it's still sort of looking okay size wise in this enclosure, it is getting a little bit cramped as you can probably see. If I sort of get that shot, yeah, look, you can see it's okay in there, but. I'd rather give it a little bit more space. This is this is starting to get a little bit sort of blocked up where it keeps making its little like web tower in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it into one of these enclosures. These are the Reptizoo acrylics. Um, this will give it a little bit more space. And as you can see, we not without light on we can't. We've got a few of those enclosures with the slings in. They always look nice. Um, loads of space. So what we're going to do so we're going to get this little dude out of here with its stunning colours when it decides to zoom. I do hate this camera. Um, we're going to get this one out of here. Hopefully get it into here without any issues. And we have our enclosure with water bowl, hide, a little bit of decor. It all looks pretty nice. It's got a nice little room to hide in there and obviously looking at the size of the spiders in now over there you know this one's going to be fine for a couple of molts anyway um, these enclosures are great the only thing I don't like about them is obviously they don't offer too deep substrate so you do have to keep on top of things if you've got high humidity spiders in them this one's quite a dry one so it won't matter too much it's got its water bowl that's all it'll need jobs are good and so now all we've got to do is move the little spider into here it's normally quite calm but obviously with rehouses who knows Okay, back in the uh, rehouse central that's known as the bathroom, we have our new enclosure. We have the spider, paintbrush, catch cup. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully it'll be all right. It's normally quite calm, like I said, but it's an old world. You never know with rehouses and I'm cack handy as hell. So let's just see what, what we do here. See if it will come out nice and easy. You can see it's lovely there anyway. Right, battery's gonna die, so let's try and get this move in. Nice and easy, out of his home. Come on, dude. Let's have you go in. That way, come on, dude. Come on. I know it's safe in there, isn't it? How do you walk in this way? Off you go, go on. Into your new one. Down that way a little bit. Down that way. There we go. No drama whatsoever. Let's have a proper look at him, shall we? Or her. It is an absolutely gorgeous spider. Absolutely lovely. Well, I think that's a success. What a lovely little rehouse. Spider's all happy. I've only got to put some water in its bowl and uh, we're all good. Awesome. Another one we'll be rehousing today is going to be this little dude who has massively outgrown 
this little sling pot if the camera will focus on him or her yeah it's it's just there's no hiding spots in here it's not the best to set up in here but this is a umv umv obt and we're going to be putting this into this little deli cup which will give it a little room it's only a temporary enclosure until i get a slightly bigger one as well so but this will give it a little bit of room some hiding points as well so it's not going to be sitting out on top stressing out like it is at the moment so that's what we're going to rehouse right now right we're back let's see how this one goes shall we notorious for being bolt little machines um, and this one's now sitting on the very very top which is always fun and games when you have a spider that just wants to potentially run and this is the worst thing about being a little bit enclosed in things that possibly aren't you know 100% ideal for them because they're going to want to run you're going to want to hide. Want to hide. That's not a good start, dropping its dirt on it. Right, let's see how this one goes. Right, he's not going to want to leave his web, is he? He's going to go down. So we're going to have to encourage him out. So, go on, dude. Let's go to it. You're going to enjoy it. Once, once, once you get into your new home, you'll enjoy it. There we go. Right. And he's on. But as you can see, let's get the camera up. He's going to have a little wander out. No, let's go back up. There we go. And now he's in his new place. It's a stunning spider. Absolutely stunning spider. It's just uh, notorious for wanting to have a wander. And this one will be nice and big enough for it for a while anyway, as you can see. So basic setup keep it a little bit dry water bowl give it some food i'm sure we'll be happy cool right back into the other room in other news we have lots more sun beetles come out now i think we're on 15 in the tank enjoying their food absolutely love these things they're absolutely gorgeous looking little animals and they're just fun to watch eat and climb around and they're all full flyers we have the <coughs> camera guy which apparently we found out on a live the other day it's not going to be very good because of the lighting in here at the moment but uh, he's actually most likely a mature male so He's going to need a home so he can go and get his end away. Um, he's wandering around. He hasn't put a sperm web down yet, so we will see. Uh, what else have we had done? One of the new little arrivals that we had from Portsmouth the other day, the Carabina... Well, hey, come on, camera. Come on. The Carabina Leiter, um has, if it's going to... Give us a shot of this, let's get down here. Has molted. Don't know if you can see this on camera, but its molt is here, spider's there. So that's pretty cool. Um, it hadn't eaten since it arrived. It's done a lot of webbing up now, but it has molted, so that will be the reason why it hadn't eaten. Um, last thing we've got to do is move these little guys now i don't know if you remember a few weeks ago i got gifted these sun gaia stick insects let's open this up so we can have a look on properly shall we and uh they've started to grow a lot they're eating their bramble but they are actually putting a lot of size and molting quite regularly in here so i need to get them out of this 10 by 10 by 15 and put them into one like that up there which is a 15 by 15 by 20 um, so they've got enough room so that's what else we're going to do today um, other news we've got uh, it's not all good news unfortunately 
our um, rainforest mantis, the Magiscula. Unfortunately, is near the end of his days, I think. Um, I've had this one since tiny baby nymph. I've done a couple of rehousing videos on him that you've probably seen if you've watched the channel from the beginning. Um, he's just down there at the moment. He's he's kept falling off of this netting at the top, the organza. So what I've done is I've actually put it all down the door and on the side, so he's got somewhere to grip onto. Um, I'm having to currently take the heads off mealworms and squeeze them like a frube so that he'll actually eat because he's not holding anything in his own mandibles. So I don't think we're going to. Uh, I don't think we're going to see Christmas with this little man, unfortunately, um, which will be a shame. But on the plus side, at least I know he's had a full life here, and I've managed to actually get him from nymph size through to adulthood, maturity, and you know he's had a full life. So the cork bark at the front is just to give him something to climb up because it was at the back as decoration, but he kept falling off. So I've put it there. Now he sort of sits on it on top of it um, most of the day <clears throat> so yes not all good news but at least he's had a decent life with us here and we've managed to get him through to maturity which is a positive side of things so anyway back to these I need to get the house sorted for these and get them rehoused so we'll be back in a minute so disclaimer uh, and apologies um, I did film the Sun Gaia rehouse but unfortunately I erased the footage and um, yeah so that has gone what I have done is I've moved them out of one of the tiny 10 by 10 by 15s which you can see there into one of the 15 by 15 by 20 enclosures um, I've doubled up doubled up on the tiny little pots with water in it this one does look a bit manky on the lid and camera, but that's literally where they are pooping. Um, and they've got some more bramble. This looks a little bit worse for wear at the moment. It's just a bit dry at the front. Um, but the bramble, there's a lot of good leaves in there. And the Sangaya are in there quite happily wandering around and munching away. I have no idea where the other two... Oh, there's one there right in the front. And we've got one down there, the other one's hidden away somewhere. That's cool. Anyway, so yes, they are now in this nice 15 by 15 by 20. So I apologise for not getting the footage, but I hope you can see they now have a nice bigger setup. Much deserved. So what did you guys think? Apart from the two epic fails with regards to the fact that I didn't record or I lost the footage, of the setting up of the sun guys in their new home and also the uh, fact that all you can see was my hand in the way of the OBT rehousing so I do apologize for that um, yeah I didn't I wasn't checking what I was doing um, but at least you could hear what was going on and you didn't hear any screams with the OBT so that's a positive side because that means it went into its house nice and calmly as you could see anyway after I've moved my hand out of the way. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video guys, um, give it a thumbs up. Even if it's just a thumbs up to say, yeah, nice with the Mantis. He deserves a thumb up. He's uh, He's been good. He's been good. Still kicking, still kicking around, still eating at the moment. So fingers crossed we'll see. We'll get a few more days, maybe a few weeks with him anyway. Right, um, if you're not subscribed, <coughs> please consider doing so. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys next week. Thanks.